Evelyn Lozada melts down on IG over X Chad Johnson. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Watch this clip and I'll come back with some more. Hey, so I wanted to, you know, respond to a few things. Um, a few weeks ago, I was actually going to, you know, discuss certain things and decided not to. Um, but I think today is you know, the perfect time to address things that are on my heart. Um, you know, I woke up today to, to you know, Chad's comment. And as, mu as much as I told myself that I wasn't going to respond because it's not the first time that he's made this comment, um, I'm just tired. You know, I'm really, really tired. And I... <sighs> For this man to sit up there and say that, you know, he lost his temper for three seconds is infuriating to me, you know, and as much as I'm trying to heal from this situation that's been, I've been dealing with this shit for years, you know, not only because I'm on a show, just everything is just so public. So, you know, as much as I'm trying to heal from this, it's messages like this, it's tweets or whatever the hell it was that are triggers for me, okay? And, you know, for this man to say, you know, uh, um, it was once incident, three seconds of his life, he lost everything. And then what, you know, what happens? It's a, it's, it's, it affects, you know, people read this on social media and then our, 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 you know, coming at me, talking about, oh, you made this man lose his job. It's like, if you're going to speak the truth, I want you to speak the truth as to what the situation was. Okay. It wasn't the first time. It wasn't the first time. And, 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 and one of the things that I'm always going to do is I'm always going to live in my truth, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's ugly. I'm not going to let anybody take away my fucking truth. Okay, and, and, and put this perception out there for a pity party as if you made one mistake, you know, and I'm trying to move on from this, but it, it, as a victim, how am I supposed to move on? And I'm not looking for attention. I was at home. I'm minding my own fucking business. And then I have to deal with this. And it's hurtful to me. It's hurtful to me because I know my truth. And I've never, I have never discussed anything else that has ever happened other than the incident that people know. Because I always was concerned about his kids and our kids and always having to relive this. But you can't make comments like this and expect for nobody, especially me, that I'm on the other end of this to feel how I feel. Okay? And then when it comes to you know, basketball wives, I know that people, you know, tend to connect, you know, my character on this show with what happened to him. And I understand that to a certain degree, you know, I get it. I, I take full responsibility. I know I'm the one on this show. I'm no, I'm the one that hasn't been. So the totality of the clip was for five minutes and, you know, I couldn't play it all, but Basically, um, she's talking about her ex NFL star, um, Chad Johnson, and I don't watch Evelyn Lozada on Real Hypes Wives of you know basketball <laughs> basketball wives. Um, I just I know her from basically doing that tweet about Wendy for allegedly, um, you know, Wendy's husband at that time buying shoes from Evelyn's store for his um, mistress, allegedly Sharina Hudson. So I remember that tweet, and I just know her from Wendy. And basically what got her to, as she said in the video, what got her to, you know, speak out on this um, situation was earlier today, a fan on Twitter wrote to her ex NFL star. What's the secret? How do you stay so positive? Was it therapy? Not being funny, really asking for myself. And her ex replied, I lost my temper for once in life for three seconds and it cost me a lifetime's worth of work. I got it all back plus some after getting a second chance and nothing will ever get me out of that happy space again. So hearing those comments, you know, Evelyn, basically, she said what she said. She she basically replied saying this took more than three seconds. She showed, you know, a basically disturbing photo of, you know, a cut on her forehead, um, alleging that he did that to her. And she posted this whole IG video. And to be honest with you guys, I do believe her. 
And I also know her for, you know, being a colorist, allegedly, and just saying, um, you know, she's not black. And one time she's saying she is black. So, I mean, um, and like she said in the video, she, you know, takes full responsibility of of how she portrays herself on the show um, to a certain degree. And, you know, she basically told her ex, if you're going to comment or speak on our past relationship, please speak the truth. You're too old and grown to, to still be out here lying. DV is an act that should never be justified or minimized, period. Um, and DV is basically an acronym for And I'm going to show you guys the tweet that she uh, tweeted. Um, I'm just being, <laughs> you know how YouTube be. But anyways, um, I, like I said, I believe her. Um, I do wish her well. In my opinion, I just, I, I, I despise you know what? I hate people who try to portray themselves one way on social media, but in real life, they're another way. They're just, you know, they're just basically uh, stunting for the camera, as they say. They're, they're trying to portray themselves as a certain image on camera, where in real life, they're really, you know, this is their actual true way. And it's, that's one thing I don't like about social media. Me personally, I'm the same way on YouTube as I am off YouTube. Sometimes I feel like I'm more funny off camera. Um, but, but y'all, but y'all, I, I try, I try to keep it real all the way a hundred percent and I just can't stand people this way. And I do wish her well, regardless of, of what I think about her and what other people think about her, you know, uh, what she's going through is, is something that, you know, nobody should ever go through. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yeah.